G'day all, it's Colin from PC TLC and thanks for joining me. Um, today we're going to be uh, looking at auto mounting my data drive. So um, let's have a look here. Um, we have in here this data drive here. So first of all what we need to do is before we mount that, um, well actually we probably can mount it, it doesn't matter. Um, what we need to do is we need to open up uh, the file system, go to the file system, go to media, uh, actually open media as root, put in your password, and under there create a new folder called data, that's where I normally put mine, in media data. Now the other thing you could do is you could um, change directory to media, tab key, and you could mk, uh, you could sudo mkdir, which is make directory and data, and then that would create a folder as well, so you don't have to op open the file system at all as root or anything. So if you've got a file system you can't open as root, you can do it that way. So that's done. So what we need to do now is we need to go to our terminal again. Uh, we need to sudo blkid, enter that and password, and this will give you a list of your partitions or whatever's uh, connected. So there you can see my data drive. It's um, if you've got a couple of different data drives, this one's actually a partition of that main hard drive. Um, if you've got a USB plugged in, then you should give it a in G parted or disks, give it a name so you can identify the two different ones. So this here is my UUID right there between the quotes and I'm going to copy that and I'm going to sudo nano um, etc fs and tab key fs tab and we'll increase the size of that and we'll go down to the last line and we're going to put uu ID in capital letters equals and paste that UUID in there and then we will uh, hit the tab key and then we're going to put in the path of where we want it to mount which is what we just created is forward slash media forward slash data hit the tab key again give it the file system name, which is ext, the type of file system, sorry, ext4, hit the tab key, defaults, tab key, uh, zero, tab key, and I think zero, sometimes I put two. Now this is open for debate, so if anyone would like to comment on how they do theirs, that would be interesting to know, because I can always change it. It's not a problem. So um, I think you can put zero as well. I might just put zero uh, for this occasion. Um, and we go Control O, and then to save it, then press Enter to save. It's written 13 lines. It's got it written on on the bottom there, wrote 13 lines, and then control X to exit. So that's that done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop recording and I'm going to restart. I'm going to reboot and then we'll have a look what's going on. Okay, so we have logged back into the system and my data drive is mounted as you can see right here. So let's have a look. Now if we go to the data drive itself, um, yep, everything looks good. Um, 
properties, permissions. Yep, it's under my name, so that all looks good. That's exactly what the home ones look like. Permissions. Yep, so that's all the same. So uh, no problem there. So if we open documents here, music, pictures, there's nothing, as you can see, because that's part of where the operating system's installed, which is the root, uh, the root file system. Um, and the data is a different partition again. So I've got all my stuff in here. So now we want to make these the default for these. So we go back to data and we start creating links. It's got to make sure we do this in the right order. So click on the plus button to give you more options in this menu here. We're going to make link. Downloads, make link, music, pictures, videos, and VirtualBox VMs. So it should be six. Yep. So click on the first one, hold the shift key, click on the last one, cut those to home and paste. So uh, hold the control button down and select the ones you want to move to trash, which is those ones there. Right click and move to trash. Then we rename all these. Now there are some scripts that can do all this automatically. Might have to look into those. I know the guys on Big Daddy Linux Live. Oops, I shouldn't talk, should I? Is that link to link? <laughs> uh, let's move that to trash. Um, rename the guys on Big Daddy Linux Live. Some of them use scripts, they swear by them, so yep, it'd be a lot quicker. But I suppose this is the old school way. Just keeps my memory fresh on how to do things if I do it the manual way, I suppose. And that's it, we have our links established. So if you do it the wrong way, if you create your links first, and then, then you add your drive into the UUID and FS tab, then your links disappear. And then it's a lot of mucking around to sort of, uh, you gotta go into your home folder and, um, show hidden files, go to .config and user directories, directories, and these will be missing probably more likely, and then you've got to redo that. So, um, yeah, you just got to do it in the right order for everything to be working correctly. So that is adding my um, um, data drive and auto-mounting it. Now let's just have a look at one thing. If we go to disks, I just thought I would mention this. Disks. Now under here, if we have a look, um, this is my um, boot partition. So that's where the the boot file. That's where you send the uh, the boot file. So this is the boot EFI. So that's that one there. And then this partition here is the root partition that's where you install on my Linux Mint 19 when I installed it installed it as root on this 43 gig partition and that's where the original home folders were the original home folders were in here and then I've created links from this partition here and then put them onto here it's just the link and then it'll be reading what's on here so the links in here it's reading what's on here so that's how that works. So um, I can install part. I can install. I can distro hop on this partition till the cows come home. It doesn't matter. Um, all I have to do is re-establish the links between these two, like I've just done in this video, and everything in this partition will remain as you can see. If I have a look here, uh, just get rid of the 
hidden files and go to documents there's all my documents and if I go to videos you'll see all my videos in there as well and it's a good idea to only record simple screen recorder throughout this process in your home folder not your videos because once you delete and move to trash your original videos folder if you're if you're recording a video in this it'll end up in the trash with this <laughs> so I know that because I've done it <laughs> uh, probably a couple of times too so um, now um, if you can find a decent uh, icon set you might find that this big arrow is a lot less and a bit more out of the way so you can see the icon pictures in within the folder there so that's another thing we'll look at theming later on so I hope that all makes sense to everybody on how that works so that is auto mounting my data drive on Linux Mint 19 and it's very much the same uh, same sort of uh, process for a lot of the other Linux distros as well so I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.